Hello class, in this video, we'll be examining the effects of dilution on an equilibrium mixture. Because we're looking at dilution, we're going to be looking at reaction mixtures that only contains aqueous species. If we're diluting the equilibrium mixture, we are increasing the volume by adding water, thereby decreasing the concentration of all ions since the particles are now more spread out as shown in the image below. Diluting the system affects the concentrations of both reactants and products present in the mixture. Let's use an example to see how dilution disrupts equilibrium. If the following reaction mixture was already in equilibrium and water was added, the concentration of each of these ions decreases due to the increased volume. To counteract this change, Le Chatelier's principle states that it will partially oppose the sudden drop in concentration by favouring the reaction with the greater number of dissolved ions in an attempt to increase the overall concentration. In this particular reaction, because there are more dissolved ions on the products, equilibrium will shift to the right, favouring the dissociation of HNO2 into H plus ions and NO2 minus ions. Consequently, the overall number of dissolved ions have slightly increased to counteract the effect of dilution. It is important to note that dilution, along with changing concentration of pressure, has no effect on the equilibrium constant value. We will now look at another example and see how dilution changes the shape of the concentration time graph. In the Ford's reaction, Fe3 plus ions, or the ferric ion, reacts with thiocyanate or SCN- to produce the iron 3 thiocyanate complex ion. If we were to dilute the following reaction mixture, the concentration of each ion decreases and this is reflected by the sudden drop in concentration as shown in the graph. Please note that substances with higher concentrations will be impacted more compared to substances with lower concentration, which is why the concentration of the SCN- ion drops more compared to the other two ions. Because concentration has decreased, the system will partially oppose by favouring the reaction with a greater number of dissolved ions. In this example over here, there are more dissolved ions on the reactants, hence equilibrium will shift to the left. As a result, this will favour the formation of Fe3 plus ions and the SCN minus ions, thus we draw a slight upward curve to illustrate the concentrations of both Fe3 plus and SCN minus ions slightly increasing. Although the concentration of each of these ions has increased, its concentration is still lower than its original concentration before dilution. However, the concentration of iron 3 thiocyanate ion will decrease because the reverse reaction is favoured. Furthermore, if we look at the chemical equation, we can see that the molar coefficients of each aqueous species is 1. Hence, the magnitude for the change in concentration for each of these ions is identical. Time for us to check for our understanding. In the first question, predict which direction equilibrium will shift when the following aqueous system is diluted. Pause the video and then resume again when you're ready to compare answers. In this reaction, there are more dissolved ions on the reactants. By adding more water, equilibrium will shift to the left, favouring the reverse reaction to increase the number of dissolved ions to partially oppose the effects of dilution. In the second question, we need to select the appropriate concentration time graph when the equilibrium mixture was diluted at T2. Give yourself a minute to answer this question and then resume the video again to check for your understanding. In each of these options, they've all showed a sudden drop in concentration for both reactants and products, which is correct. Because there are more dissolved ions on the reactants, we should expect equilibrium to shift to the left. Therefore, the concentration of the Fe3 plus and the SCN minus ion should slightly increase. As a result, we can eliminate options A as well as option C since their concentration time graphs does not support this. Because equilibrium is favouring the reverse reaction, the Fe SCN2 plus ion will be consumed and should thus decrease, hence B is going to be the correct answer. In the last question, it provides information that the reaction mixture is blue when the system is at equilibrium. This means the extent of the reaction lies towards the right. When the sample is diluted, it becomes a paler blue. We need to use Le Chatelier's principle to explain the colour change. Pause the video now and see if you can answer this question. When water is added to the sample, the concentration of all ions decreases. To partially oppose the decrease in concentration, the system will favour the reverse reaction because it contains the most dissolved ions. Because equilibrium shifts to the left, the concentration of the cobalt chloride ion decreases while the concentration of chloride and the cobalt water complex slightly increases, making the sample slightly more pink or paler blue until the system reaches equilibrium. Although the reverse reaction is favoured, 
concentration of the chloride and cobalt water complex is still lower compared to the original concentrations prior to dilution. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye.